Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be taking you guys to a market called Otoko Market. Or in Thai, it's called Talat. Otoko. Market in Thai is Talat. Talat. Right now, I'm on my way to the MRT, which is the underground train or like the Thai subway. It's really easy to get to Otoko Market. All you need to do is catch the MRT to Gampang Pet Station and you're there. So that's where I'm heading right now. It's pretty hot today. The wind's also blowing pretty strong as you can tell from my hair. So in today's vlog, I'm going to be going out to buy some traditional Thai dessert that you guys may have seen in BL, especially the BL UWMA or Until We Meet Again. So this is the list of desserts that I'm going to be looking for today. I don't know if I'll be able to actually find all of them. I'm going to try to find as many as possible. So now let's head underground. So today while I'm going on the dessert hunt, I also want to teach you guys a few useful phrases that you can use if you ever come to Thailand and you want to go out shopping at a market or even a department store. Alright, so just arrived at Gampang Pet Station. Heading out exit 3, which should lead us straight to Otoko Market. So I've never actually come here before. This is my first time, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing how it really is. Oh, we're here. You literally come out the escalator and it's here. Otoko Market is located opposite Bangkok's famous Jatujak Market or JJ Market. So it's an open air but undercover market. So you don't need to worry about sunscreen or a hat. The products at this market are a little bit more expensive than your regular local Thai market, but compared to a local market, it's very clean. The quality of products are really high and also really fresh. At Otoko Market, you can find a large variety of fresh produce. This includes things such as vegetables, fruit, meat, and also a large selection of fresh seafood. As well as produce, they also sell kitchenwares and household supplies. There's also a large cooked food section. There's so many different things to choose from. You can get curries, chili paste, som tam, just to name a few things. And all these things you can buy takeaway or you can buy them and go and eat them over at the food court section. Okay, so I finally found the dessert store that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go inside and see if they have everything that we're after. So you can see inside the dessert store, there was a huge variety of different desserts. I think there were over at least 30 different desserts, all with very similar but slightly different names, which made it really hard to find the ones that I was looking for. But after around 10 minutes of searching, I found some. So here we have Da Mongkut and Luk Chuk. Not long after this, I came across the next dessert in the food court section. To say, can I get this takeaway? Or can I get this to go? You say, And of course, to sound polite, males put krab on the end and females put ka on the end. So now I'm going to ask the shopkeeper if I can get this to go. To say how much in Thai, you say, to sound polite, males put krab on the end and females put ka on the end. How much? Krab. Okay, krab. 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 All right, so that's three down. So I got top tim krab. I decided to go back to the store from earlier just in case there were any desserts I missed, and lo and behold, I found one. At this point, I was only able to find four desserts, so. Before I went home, I decided to frantically Google to see if there was anywhere where I could go and pick up any of the ones I couldn't find. And that was when I found out 7-Eleven also sells traditional Thai desserts. And now for the moment of truth. But unfortunately, they didn't have any. And here's today's haul. Alright guys. So I just got home, uh, it was a hot one today. Went out for around six desserts, wanted five, 
came back with four. So not a bad haul, not the best. So in my next video, I'm going to be going into more detail about these particular desserts. So I'm gonna explain like what the names mean, what they're made of and also how they're made. Most of them I've never eaten before. So I'm gonna be trying them for you guys and doing my best to explain what they're like. So it's been a while since I've shot a vlog outside, you know, with the current situation. It was pretty fun, super hot, still pretty fun. So if there's any other places that you guys would like to see in Bangkok, then please comment down below. Guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.